contest is generally like uh, you have few easy questions then you have some medium and then you have hard like it is in increasing order of difficulty so it's on you to choose the questions that you want to solve uh, because uh, spend in the given time constraint uh, you have to be particular that where you can go and solve those problems because that is going to make a huge difference in your ranking uh, i would like to tell you that you can also try uh, various problems that are provided on codingal because uh, that will give you about an idea how uh, that uh, which types of question are going to be asked in the uh, contest itself uh, my my approach when i solve any contest is uh, whenever i solve uh, i participate in any contest i first try to solve all the easy problems that i know as fast as possible uh, so that i would be having ample amount of time to spend in few choosed problems out of those hard problems that uh, which i can spend any amount of time that i want by making observations in the question by making analysis on the multiple test cases that i want and by assuming some things and making me wrong or proving it right and that helps a lot in the solving of harder problems what solve 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 i cannot stress enough how important practicing questions help it provides uh, you with a good idea of your own capabilities and your own knowledge levels if you get stuck it's better that you do it in the practice round Two, do not jump to code. Looking at the question and the coding interface, you'll be very tempted to start coding like blindly. But that's of no use once you realize you have the wrong approach in the middle of your program. Take a minute to think, understand the problem, and come up with a solid algorithm. Three, problematic problems. If you see yourself getting stuck on a question or like a few test cases, just move on to the next problem. Not everything is going to go smoothly, no matter how good of a programmer you are. So don't waste your time. Let it go. Pressure doesn't bode well for good solutions. Four, chill. A relaxed pace helps ponders for one's thinking. If you start getting tense, just take a breath, take a little sip of water. During the competition, you're probably itching to look at the ranks and get tense. Do not do that. Just focus on solving. You looking at the leaderboard is not going to solve your question. You being in a relaxed state of mind is key to better thinking. Five, have fun. Ultimately, it's about learning and having fun. It's not about the ranks. It's all about the how, not the what. Don't let anything taint your experience. Even if you just solve one question, hey, you still did it. Uh, take this as a fun challenge instead of worrying about how well you did. You got this. When it came to training, I never followed a mindless grind. I just didn't solve the problems for just the sake of it. Instead, I pushed my limits in each and every session. working to 20 to 30 problems at the same time covering everything from beginner level challenges to hardest problems that i could actually find and the most important part of my practice wasn't just getting answer right but actually it was to understand why my initial approach failed which helped me to improve my critical thinking one of the toughest question that i faced was based over de arrangement imagine a postman delivering letters but somehow is managing to deliver letters in every location except the correct one for my first approach involved recursive programming and brute forcing which of course failed due to the time complexity then finally i used permutation and combination and dynamic programming which finally cracked up in discussion for code wars i often prefer python even though c++ is faster but python's dynamic casting and its flexibility helps me to debug problem which according to my opinion matter more in a timed competition so every day i used to solve around 10 to 15 problem statements from uh, different websites be it either lead code or uh, code chef putting myself under pressure by setting a time limit for each problem and then i would go back to the questions which i had uh, uh, not solved to analyze what kind of approach i had missed the first time i was solving it and the biggest problem i said i fa- uh, i would say i faced was to maintain consistency as uh, i had started preparing for the competition a month month or two before the actual competition had started which took up quite some time from my daily routine of preparing for my school exams but uh, somehow i managed it because coding was is a great interest of mine very uh, uncomfortable at the beginning and i would tend to forget whatever i learnt in the process 
so i uh, learned to combat this problem by writing down documenting whatever the solution i had thought about uh, tip number 1 is that uh, document all your pro- problems all the steps that you take to solve a problem uh, the main important thing is uh, to record your thought process uh, which you use to solve the problem finally so the next time when you see a similar type of problem you would f- tend to follow the same thought process which you had followed earlier this would uh, lead you to make proper connections between seemingly different problems but at heart they might be the same problem that you are solving and tip number 2 um, thinking of an algorithm before jumping into code as i said earlier uh, i would always think uh, think before i write code uh, i spend 80% of my time in thinking of an algorithm and only 20% of my time uh, converting that algorithm into a code and point number 3 uh, be relaxed and make yourself comfortable whenever you attend the contest uh, because whenever you uh, you uh, prepare for the contest you might uh, take your own time uh, thinking about various different solutions but then at the contest you are uh, very uh, limited on time so you need to uh, prepare mentally yourself for challenge uh, for um, completing all the questions uh, at least the maximum number of questions you could uh, by the time runs out so time management and being relaxed being sane is very important uh, the fourth point is uh, practice practicing and seeing more problems uh, sometimes uh, to if two sim- like two problems might be same so it doesn't make sense for you to code for uh, all the problems that you see it's not always about the number of questions you solve but it's about the quality of the questions you solve and the uh, it also depends on the variety of the questions you solve so try to expose yourself to a huge variety of questions there are many platforms like hacker rank lead code code forces etc and uh, i would suggest hacker rank or code forces uh, because they are beginner friendly and my last tip would be to never fear uh, sometimes the questions might be very intimidating that you might start feeling that it is impossible for you to solve at the first sight but then trust the process as uh, ms dhoni says so uh, just try thinking about different ways don't uh, restrict yourself to thinking in one particular way and try uh, uh, breaking the problem into smaller sub problems that might uh, prove helpful uh, in some cases uh, but then uh, keep an eye on the time also and even if you are not able to pass all the test cases at least try to partially run a few test cases alone and then move on for the next question i used to feel recursion and the dictionary questions in python were quite difficult for myself so over time after puff, doing con- consistently pr- doing those questions well and well i was able to improve myself and have a, ha- get a gist of those questions well so to my friends that are taking part in the upcoming competition so i have few recommendations and few tips for you guys so i would like you guys to master your basics first get get a gist of uh, data structures arrays and everything and get get good used to it followed by i want you guys to practice consistently on different competitive programming websites that would help you get grow your skills in a much better manner then i want you guys to learn to how to debug and optimize the code as well which will help you over time learn how to make your code much more better followed by com- i want you guys to analyze your performance and also read different type of codes that people publish online so that you get an idea on how they write their codes and the final and the most important thing for me i feel you guys should join a community like coding girl itself and learn and make new friends around and code with them which makes your whole experience a great one